So seriously, if you're trying to save money and you don't want to buy stuff, the screws and nails can get kind of expensive. So if you uh, carefully pull your nails out, try not to bend any of them. And you know, occasionally some of them are gonna break because they're probably, I don't know, probably been there a while. You can get some pretty good nails. And any little bit helps when you're trying to save money. That's just from the four boards I took out. Okay, got all my pallets torn apart and probably what I'm gonna do, I've decided to do is I'm going to put one board here to make it a little bit deeper in the bed. I'm gonna put two here this is the top of the one pallet. This is the bottom of the other pallet. I'll put two boards here and one board here. We'll do that on both sides. Um, give them bottoms and then we'll stand the whole thing upright and screw it to the fence. I think that'll work. Looks pretty cute. All right, got the outside of the beds on both sides done, my little planters. Now all I can do is put some bottoms in them, and once we put the bottoms in them, they'll be ready to hang on the fence. I decided I wanted to put something right there to help support the uh, beds because they are a little heavy. Trying not to be caught on video. I think uh, one of the best things that you can do when you're wondering what to do next is uh, go fishing.
That was his third try. Well, there's one uh, planter up, or half of a planter, and uh, let me go get the other one and we'll screw the rest of it in. Okay, so I'm gonna try to video this between rooster crows. So, in uh, soccer games, oops, good gracious. Let's go, word in edgewise, here we go. Well, the first strawberry slash herb palette um, planter is done. Um, we still have two more to go. We decided to use the wide palettes instead of using uh, two different, um, two different of the standard size palettes. Um, cause you could have put, you know, you could put one here up all the way to the top, one here all the way to the top. But we liked these pallets better. And so we're gonna, we decided to go ahead and use those. And uh, anyway, there's the finished first product of one. Hope you all enjoyed that. So I do have the pallets sitting on a two by four, um, kind of sticking out from the fence. Um, that was the easiest way to, to set it up and still be able to screw them into the two by fours on the top. Probably gonna put some kind of uh, bracing or something under there because I don't want that to be too heavy for the fence because it is, they are pretty solid and they are kind of heavy once you put them all together. But uh, anyway, there she goes and there goes the rooster. Well, getting ready to start another day and today is another late start but for a different reason we had a, a nice wonderful experience last night our uh, boxer pyrenees mix she had her puppies we were expecting her to have puppies and uh, i believe she had seven i'll have to go back and double count um beautiful little things so uh, get started on another day and pretty sure we're gonna have some uh, videos of some pretty cute puppies here in the future so this is awesome how are you doing this morning sweetheart looks like we had a wonderful surprise last night in the middle of the night our uh, Pyrenees boxer mix had her puppies last night and she did a great job. Goodness gracious. So one thing I decided to do with these uh, planters as opposed to the first one I built, is I decided to go ahead and seal them before I assembled them, um, mainly because um, it's a little easier than having to get into those little nooks and crannies. And that way I've got a lot of seal around about every, and that way I have seal kind of around everything including some of the little areas in between the boards and stuff too so we'll see how that works out Two down and one to go. Well, there 
there it is. Pretty happy with that. I think that looks really cute with that little skinny planter right there. And now that I think about it, I might actually consider putting something right there too, kind of skinny. But right now that looks really good. And uh, take a step back, take a step back. Look at those planters. You got my upright ones over here. Man, I think that looks pretty good. Now let's just get some, some plants down in these things and get this stuff growing so we can get us some grub. I think Mama Cito will be excited about that. Let's go find out. Okay, Mama Cito, what do you think? I love it. You love it? I love it. Love it. Awesome. Mama Cito approved. So the four white ones are all sleeping on their own. Mm -hmm. And the brown ones are all sleeping together. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> she said you touched me. Somebody might be getting hungry. Well, all right, folks, we got this uh, video wrapped up and what we're going to do, and the turkey likes the ending, apparently. Um, hope you liked all the planters that we built. So the next thing we got to do is we got to get this garden area cleaned up, and we got to get stuff planted that we don't already have planted and, and seeded and ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Why don't you go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I tell you what, if you'll share us with your friends on social media and stuff like that, man, that really helps out. And we will see you guys on the next video.